My name is Masha. I'm here from Berlin. I'm part of the programming collective of the Ensaubert Queer DIY Film Festival since 2007. And I'm excited and curious and nervous to be part of this year's Teddy's Jury. Um, I'm looking forward to get to know the other jury members. It's a very international team and yeah, I'm looking forward to get into the program and hopefully have fruitful discussions about the final, finding the final award, award um, um, takers. <laughs> what were your experience with the Berlinale in general so far? What was my experience in general this year or with the Berlinale in, gen in general? Like in general. Since you got to know the Berlinale. Um, well, to be honest, I never went to the Berlinale before I started to work in, a, in Forum Expanded uh, because to me it seemed complicated to get tickets. So when I started to work in the setup of Forum Expanded uh, exhibition, um, I started to also visit the screenings because I, it somehow became more accessible for me, the whole festival. and. Um, yeah, like also ticket-wise, it was easier to get tickets and also more affordable because like for uh, for people who don't work at the Berlinale, okay, there's like half price tickets, but usually it's very expensive, so it was much, yeah, it became more affordable, so, so um, yeah, and, you know, like the last few years, uh, um, just kind of going where the where the, uh, how do you say, um, spon often spontaneously also deciding what to watch or asking friends around and, and there's like such a huge program, it's like easy to get lost in the program, it's like, yeah. But, yeah. And the Teddy Award, how did you get to know the Teddy Award and what makes the Teddy Award a special award in your eyes? Um, first time I got invited to a programmer's meeting in the Teddy Award was when I was already doing the Enzaubert Film Festival and a friend of mine uh, invited me to come to the programmer's meeting. It was still very small, I think it was 2009. Uh, Pierre Tillman, she used to work for the Teddy also. And um, that's how I got to know the Teddy, but I, before that I didn't really know anything about it and I guess during the last two years I've been finding out more about how it works and I was um, so I guess what's special about the Teddy is that compared to the festival that I'm part of programming for um, is that it's part of uh, this really big industry film festival and um, people, filmmakers don't directly submit to the Teddy like the, the sections of Berlinale are um, suggesting the, the films that go into the Teddy. So that makes a difference in, in such that the filmmakers get access to, this, to a broader network uh, than if, if they submit to a specifically queer film festival. And it makes also the difference though uh, that that others, like not necessarily queer people, decide uh, if the film is queer or not. I mean, a queer film can also be made by a non-queer person, but you know, like it's a difference to a, to as if you would submit to a. Yeah, I guess that, and I guess that it's been existing since 29 years is quite a long time. So that's, I guess, also, um, yeah. And when it comes to movies, what is a good movie for you? What should a movie have to become a winning movie at the festival? Well, I'm specifically interested in, in, in work that is, um, that is either coming from people who are like, in general, underrepresent, and under, whose perspective is underrepresented in society, um, 
and I guess also a topic that is underrepresented, like that we don't often get to see. Um, I mean, if you if you go to uh, to to um, the program, like there's some some topics that you find again and again, and like backgrounds of people. Um, that I, I guess that plays a role, like, but that's not the only thing. That's one one criteria for me that I look tend to look for. Um, how how broad the representation is in general, um, and for sure, um, you know, like I like to I like unconventional films for sure. Um, yet I I don't want to be bored, so. Um, yeah, I guess it should be unconventional rather than um, conventional mainstream, and uh, I want to be uh, kept in there. Should be captivating. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And can you point out some of the highlights, mm -hmm. personal highlights in this year's Teddy program? Um, personal highlights. Well, I haven't studied the program that well yet. But I, I am looking forward to stories of our lives and uh, Die Card. Mm -hmm. These are two films that I've heard about. And also, I'm curious on Haftanlage from Jan Soldat. But yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. And have fun at the festival.